Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. This is Amanullah. You're watching my YouTube channel, Dr. Aman's video. Dear viewer, today we will discuss the laboratory diagnosis of dengue virus. But first, I will let you know the content of my lecture. It will start with the basic biology of dengue virus. Then in the second portion, we will discuss the biomarker which can be used for the diagnosis of the dengue virus. Then we will discuss the time of the appearance of these biomarker into the blood of the suspected patient and the duration for which these biomarker will be detectable in primary response or in primary infection and in secondary infection with dengue virus because these are different in primary infection and in secondary infection. Then finally, we will discuss some important tests which are used as a supportive test by a clinician for making the diagnosis of dengue virus. So as we know that dengue virus is a flavi virus which contain RNA as a genome and it can cause and it can infect a human being and the clinical manifestation of this infection could be asymptomatic infection or it can be dengue fever or more severe form dengue hemorrhagic fever or the more severe form dengue shock syndrome. So these are the different clinical outcome of the infection of dengue virus. Now we know that dengue virus is transmitted by the bite of a disease by the bites of mosquito called Aedes aegypticus or Aedes albopictus. These are the two species of Aedes mosquito. Now we know that there are four serotype of dengue virus which are commonly known as dengue virus 1, den 1, den 2, den 3 and den 4. These four serotype can cause infection in human being or they can cause dengue fever. So started with the laboratory diagnosis of the dengue virus infection. So two types of methods are used for the diagnosis of dengue virus infection, direct methods and indirect methods. In direct methods, we isolate the virus, a whole virus or we can detect the genome of the virus or we can detect the product of the virus like non-structural protein which is commonly known as NS1 protein. Now NS stand for non-structural. So there are different non-structural protein secreted by the infected cell. They are NS, so they are commonly known as NS1, NS2, NS3. So the most important among them is NS1 protein. Some people say that RNA is the product of DNA, a product of the virus. So it can be classified in this category or some other people say that RNA is not a product of virus. So therefore it will come under this heading under the isolation of virus or virus GNA. But in short, the direct methods include the detection of virus or the product of virus. While indirect methods include the detections of the product of the immune system of the host. Of course, it include antibodies and we know that two types of antibodies are produced against dengue virus that is IgM and IgG. Now totally there are four markers which can be used for the diagnosis of dengue virus. As we know that the isolation of virus is always occur in the tissue culture or the cell culture which is impractical for the purpose of diagnosis. So we commonly do not use the isolation of virus in cell culture for the purpose of diagnosis. But of course we used the detection of RNA through polymerase chain reaction for the early and prompt diagnosis of the dengue virus. So commonly it is also not possible to use PCR, a sophisticated diagnostic tool for the diagnosis of the dengue virus. Therefore, people commonly rely on the diagnosis of NS1 protein and IgM and IgG antibodies because they can be easily detected by ELISA or rapid testing like ICT methods. So in poor remote setting or in the resource limited setting, we usually rely on NS1 protein, IgM antibody and IgG antibodies. 
But the problem is that, that the time of appearance of NS1 protein, IgM antibody and IgG antibodies in the blood of the patient is very important because they appear at a particular time after the onset of the sign symptoms and then they remain for a particular duration. After that duration, it disappear from the blood of the patient. So therefore, it is very important to know the time of appearance of these marker and the time of the disappearance of these marker from the blood of the patient. But this appearance and the disappearance of these markers are different in primary and secondary infection. In primary infection, Primary infection is the infection when you are infected with dengue virus for the first time. So this type of infection is known as primary infection. And of course, the immune response generated against primary infection is known as primary immune response or primary response. So in primary infection, the appearance of different biomarker will be like this. So this blue line show the time of the symptoms, time of the onset of the symptoms or disease, which is, which we take as a zero day. So at the zero day, the virus, it means that the RNA, or if you want to isolate the whole virus. So the virus or NS1 protein can be detected at the time of the zero day. Or you can say that with the onset of the sign and symptoms, you can detect the RNA or NS1 protein in the blood of the patient. For how long it will be able to detect? You can detect RNA in the blood of the patient up to five days from the onset of the symptoms. Again, I repeat that from the onset of the symptoms up to five days you can detect the RNA of the virus in primary response. While NS1 protein is able to be detected at the time of the onset of the symptoms up to the nine day or little bit longer in some cases. After that time, it disappear from the blood or you can say that we are not able to detect these two products into the blood of the patient in primary response or in primary infection. While IgM, as we know that IgM is produced first in the primary response, so IgMs appear in the blood at, at five day. Or you can say that you can detect IgM in the blood of the patients of the dengue virus in primary infection after five days of the onset of the symptoms, which is commonly take the onset of the fever. Then it can be detected up to 45 to 50 days. While IgG, which is not very important in the diagnosis of the dengue virus, but it appears after six to seven days of the onset of the symptoms, it in, and it can be detected for many years or for rest of the life. So it is the picture in the primary response. If you are infected again, with the second serotype because once you are infected with dengue virus serotype then the same serotype cannot infect you again. You can be infected with another serotype like for example you have been infected with dengue 1 serotype then dengue 1 serotype cannot infect you again but 2, 3 and 4 can infect you again. So in the second infection when you are infected with the second serotype of the dengue virus at that time, the time of appearance and disappearance of these marker is different. Why? Because these serotype share some antigen which are present on the E protein which are the enveloped protein. And these E proteins are very very similar. Therefore, the IgG produced in the primary response can cross react with those antigen present in the second serotypes which you infect you for the second time. So therefore, when you are infected for infected 
secondary attack of dengue virus with another serotype at that time your immune response produced very quick response why because it recognized this serotype is a previously encountered antigen why because of the similarities of the e antigen so in that case our immune system produced an amnestic response a quick response which is a secondary response against the antigen so therefore in the secondary response the virus you can say the rna or the ns1 protein can be detected at the time of the onset of the symptoms but they can be detected up to the 4 or 5 days after 4 to 5 days ns1 protein and the rna disappear from the blood of the patient with secondary infection why because the anamnestic response produced by immune systems actually encounter these ns1 protein and they eliminate the ns1 protein from the blood by forming antigen antibody complex or immune complexes so therefore in secondary response the duration of the ns1 protein or the rna of the virus squeeze to 0 to 4 days instead of 0 to 9 or 0 to 5 days while igg is produced in a large quantity because it is the secondary response of the immune system towards the dengue virus therefore igg is produced in large amount and they appear in the blood usually at two or three days or at two or three days after the onset of the symptoms of the dengue fever same case of the IgM, IgM also appear at 4 to 5 days after the onset of the symptoms of dengue virus but the amount of IgM is lower in secondary infection. So now summarizing the detections of the marker, so if you detect RNA of the dengue virus then it confirm the acute dengue virus infection. Secondary, if you detect NS1 protein into the blood or the serum of the patient, so it detect acute dengue virus infection. Again, if you detect IgM antibodies against dengue virus into the serum of the patient, it confirm the acute dengue virus infection. But IgG, the interpretation of IgG is a little bit complex or you can say are not very important in deciding the, uh, the definitive diagnosis of dengue virus. Besides this, there are some other tests which are usually performed on the suspected patient of the dengue virus that is platelet because platelets are markedly decreased into the dengue virus infection. Why? I have made a video. I will post the link in the description section of, my, this, of this video. Secondly, because the plasma is leak out in case of the dengue virus infection so because of the plasma leakage a hemoconcentration is occur which result in the increased mcv level or hct level and because of the plasma leakage plasma protein are also leak out so the plasma protein is lower down so you can see hyponatremia and the alp alkaline phosphatase enzymes and other enzymes of the liver can be increased so these are the supporting tests which are usually performed on the patients of the dengue virus i hope you would find this video useful for the diagnosis of the dengue virus infection if it is the case then i would request you for the subscriptions of my youtube channel dr aman video also try to to hit bell icon in order to get notification for my upcoming video Thank you so much for watching my YouTube channel, Fiyamanillah.